Okay guys, Damien here from ChinaPhoneArena.com and GizBeat.com. If you missed the first part of the video, what I've done is I've flashed a DG580 ROM onto the Elephone P3000. The download is now finished. The phone should be bricked. I'm going to pull the, pull the USB and now I'm going to actually try and start the phone. And you can see that the phone isn't starting. So what you need for this tutorial is actually a stock ROM. It can be a custom ROM as well, but it has to be a ROM that's made specifically for your phone. I want to load the correct ROM for my phone. I'm going to tap scatter loading. This is the ROM. I'm going to open the scatter here. That's the first step is to get your ROM correctly loaded. The next step is to select, instead of download only, what you're going to do here is select format. Format all and download. It's an easy trick. So what I'm going to do now, I've selected format all and download and now comes the moment of truth. As I said, the trick is to select format and then I'm going to actually connect, hit, hit download here and then I'm going to actually connect the phone, connect the P3000. The download should start okay. It's going to format it first and what that does is it gives us a, a clean slate for putting the correct ROM onto the phone. It's formatting now. Sometimes the format there it goes, it's finished now. It's, you can see it's starting it's downloading the flash onto the phone. I'm not going to make you watch this whole thing. We're just going to fast forward this up a bit. And here we come to the end, guys. 98, 99, 100. And let's make sure that we've unbricked our phone. I'm going to disconnect here. Let's see what happens. We have the battery in. I'm going to go ahead and connect the, turn on the phone, and hopefully I haven't completely ruined the P3000. That's a good sign. We got the logo coming up. And actually the first boot, as you guys may be aware, the first boot does take a while because what's happening is it's rebuilding Android. It's rebuilding the system. And then we have sound, that's another good sign, guys. And now you guys can see, bam, we're back into Android. We have successfully unbricked the P3000 after I flashed the incorrect preloader, a totally incorrect ROM onto the phone. Guys, if this didn't help out, come by www.chinaphonearena.com and there are plenty of people waiting to help you guys out if you guys are still bricked after watching this tutorial. Okay, Damien, over and out.